Beautiful Borger is here with another episode, going to talk about what's the future of trading. As you guys know, we're in a world where there's so much information, there's so much education that's happening, so much information that's going, especially in the world of Web3. If you look more and more, a lot of people in crypto come in for the meme coins, from the for the fun, for something that you want to do trading, want to be part of our community, you want to be part of the future, and you want to make a lot of money. All that within a snap. With evolution of what's happening right now through social media, what if you try to combine those two together? What if you take a bit like a TikTok approach and you'd be able to look at some videos and directly trade that crypto within a second? You're looking into listening to influencer going from that page or directly to the screen and to buy something. It's a bit of a combination of how do you see the future of social media collecting with actually web three and trading couldn't be more excited about talking about vala here comes the founders guys oh. very excited to have uh, the three co-founders of vala uh, we have rupert here the ceo radama cto and of course rebecca the cmo very excited to have the three of you guys uh, how's it going it's really good thanks so much for having us it's going great um, maybe as always, we will start to talk about the people behind the project, then talk about obviously uh, the mission, talk about, uh, eventually about, uh, the promotion, the products and, and this investment opportunity. Uh, maybe Rebecca, can you tell me a bit about yourself and how to get into web three? Yeah, for sure. So I'm very excited to be here and, um, uh, and get more familiar with the Swiss board community. So I actually got started in crypto. My first exposure was 2016. I had the pleasure of having some of the early Ethereum co-founders on an, an advisory board that I built when I was working with a venture capital firm. And that was kind of like my first exposure to crypto, but I didn't start building until 2018. I actually built a prototype product uh, project for Richemont Group. I was working with a marketing agency at the time and we were like, why don't we ship uh, an AR filter with an ERC721 token? It was very early. Uh, so. That, that obviously didn't get shipped with a product. But at the end of 2020, when um, NFT started picking up with Nifty Gateway, I was super excited to kind of just jump full in and, you know, had the pleasure of working with folks like Leo Messi and Maluma on their NFT drops and strategies. So like seeing that from, you know, all angles of the community and the sale and the token design was really interesting. And then I was kind of hooked, right? So um, I had the opportunity to work with a crypto finance firm as well on some uh, financial products for crypto, like crypto backed mortgages. And we had a deposit platform uh, and had some pleasure, like just a great, a great time working with some OGs in the industry there and uh, left to started my own agency, kind of helping brands and other companies navigate Web3 and how they could apply it to their businesses uh, and exited that company last year and then had uh, was was kind of looped into working on some meme coins uh, in 2023, uh, late 2023, and helping them with their strategy on TikTok and how to work with um, content creators for more distribution. And that led me to start building my own team to actually uh, launch different projects. And I, and I you know, happened to uh, reach uh, Rupert and Rad, and they told me what they were working on with Vala. And I was like, this is amazing because part of my passion is like bringing consumers into the space into crypto and i think that the the meme trend is just very relatable it's very much driven by consumer behavior it's not very complicated to understand uh and i think that it's just like a very engaging way to bring new people into the space and so when they told me about vala i was like let's see what we can build so excited to kind of join the team and and uh, grow vala awesome very excited thank you for for sharing that uh, Radames or, or, or Rupert, whoever wants to go for it. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So um, my background is serial entrepreneur. So I've been building businesses for a very long time. I uh, cut my teeth early on at uh, Google when they acquired Google Android. So I helped um, take Android around the world uh, from zero to 86% uh, market share. And that's really when I kind of realized that I adore hyper growth business, businesses and startups. And uh, at that stage, you know, Google was still in the kind of very much startup phases. And uh, I then went on to um, uh, co-found a uh, wealth tech management uh, platform called uh, Pink. And that's actually when uh, you and I first met back in London, Cyrus, uh, all those right. years ago. And um, uh, then really focused on um, 
uh, crypto and uh, and and DeFi. I, I entered the space in 2016 as a as a, as a, kind of a buyer, uh, and uh, in 2017, when we were starting out with what was called the crypto crowd and became Pink, uh, we um, uh, we focused on creating a, a crowd wisdom tool to to build a huge community of people and identify which assets to 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 buy and, and sell that back to our our community. And uh, after exiting out of that in 2021, I uh, started building uh, Ambulup, which is a DeFi insurance protocol based on the Solana ecosystem. And uh, exited out of that last year, um, started working for Super Team and Solana Foundation directly. And uh, until Rad gave me a call and said, hey, uh, uh, I've built something really cool. Uh, do you want to help uh, push it out there into the big wide world? And that was what is now Valor. And uh, what's what? What is to hear? So, um, Brad, why don't you give a bit about uh, your background? Yeah. So, also a serial entrepreneur, I have been in um, the development and uh, consumer-facing side of applications for over a decade. Uh, I've worked with Gucci, Prada, Century Twenty One, Marvel, um, Saks Fifth Avenue. The list kind of goes on. Um, huge, huge experience in consumer products. I own a few companies there. Uh, I've been in crypto since twenty twelve building since 2021 um started building on solana actually and um started a project we were very much contributing a lot to like open source work at the time we had a top five solana validator had millions of dollars staked with it um and then you know the the uh the bear hit things got slow so just started figuring out what else i wanted to work on and i really wanted to work on um something that was going to bring consumers closer to web3 but in a seamless way so um, started off Vala in its initial baby stage. It was um, a decentralized DEX. <clears throat> and then um, from there, it kind of evolved more and more and more into this, you know, cutting edge uh, Polaris mobile application now that's going to just, you know, allow people to trade um, a lot of digital assets through a social feed. So, yeah. So you guys definitely have a great team. Uh, and with that team you have as well, I heard some amazing advisors. And this is very important because... You know, you have to be in the trenches and build your thing, but you still need as well uh, some other people that could open the door, give you visions and, and put you in the, direct, the right direction. Rebecca or Rupert, walk us through the amazing advisor that you work with. Sure. So, um, yeah, I mean, one of the things that we really believe in at Vala is team and building the right team over time. As we get new connections and new entrants into an access uh, uh, to people, but we're super fortunate because of the, you know, the history we've had, we've been able to connect to these amazing, incredible people. And actually with that, I want to pass over to Re Rebecca first, because I want you to talk about your team and in particular, Gabby. Yeah, so we're very fortunate to have some folks internal at TikTok that have uh, have done incredible programs over the last like 12 months and, and longer, um, specifically using UGC to have incredible um, conversion rates and taking people off TikTok onto third party uh, platforms and apps. So that's something that we're incredibly excited to have. I mean, using these strategies in the last 12 months, a product that she worked on that was a free-to-play mobile gaming uh, app, uh, they did they did two and a half billion in revenue in their first year. So these strategies really work, and we're very excited to have um, folks in our kind of internal team and network um, to help us navigate the algorithm and navigate these customer acquisition strategies. Um, since we know, obviously, customers are going to be a huge part of the success of our platform. And then along with on the marketing side of things, we really bolstered up on the business side as well. So we've got people at the ex-business officer for Binance, for example. We um, have brought on excellent development uh, resource or, or, or support resource from Gemini and from OKX. Like we've really tried to fill and round out our kind of uh, knowledge and access into the rest of the industry of people who have built like incredible um yeah uh, consumer facing uh, apps and uh yeah enabling that to happen yeah and our team too um comes internally from uh coinbase which is amazing and just the last couple of days uh brian armstrong did an interview where uh he was legit legitimately just talking about uh how a platform like vala is so necessary kind of for this next phase of growth for web3 and crypto
Well, I, I want to... Yeah, you know, I want to add to that because I think that's why Telegram has exploded so tremendously because it's very easy on mobile. And that's why for us, it was really important to have such a great mobile experience for Vala because that's going to help us really incorporate a majority of the global population versus just specifically sticking to kind of desktop and having to navigate so many different applications to integrate. That's why we just kind of wanted to have one one stop shop right on your phone. Yeah, I really love it. it. It's really good. So, I, I, obviously, I know where we're heading, but not everyone knows. So, what is the big mission that's behind behind Vala, and what is the the big problem that you guys are are, are solving? I would say. Sure. So, I mean, one of the things that we we found when we we started taking the decks out into the, into the world is that like there's there's tons of ways of trading crypto as is right now. But what one of the biggest challenges in Web3 is actually just trying to help people with that first step, like to get them from learning something on Instagram or on TikTok or on YouTube or whatever it is, to then connecting them over to the actual um, exchange or the trade, like the, the, the doing action is so such a big chasm and you lose the majority of the user base, which is why crypto is such a, still a really relatively small uh, you know, marketplace for, for most people. You can walk, walk down most streets in, um, in Europe or in, in the States and talk to people and they still don't really know anything beyond Bitcoin, right? And they don't really know the opportunity and the power of DeFi and, and these, uh, these things that we now know in the community, but actually getting it to them is the, is the biggest challenge. So that's the thing that we, we, we discovered and we thought, well, this is the, the, the biggest opportunity, the biggest problem to solve. Um, and I actually, you know, I did a, uh, a chat. We can link it into the, into the, the notes back at Breakpoint in 2023. I did a talk about the trillion dollar opportunity inside uh, crypto. And it's, it's really about responsibility and it's about owning the, the, the kind of the whole uh, cycle from education through to execution, or at least walking people through, that's the huge opportunity that we're, we're, we're sat on and, and trying to help people um, with. And so that's our, that's our, our, our vision is, is to really expand and open the possibility of crypto to so many more people around the world, which I know has been said a lot, but we're attacking it in a very direct manner. We're attacking it with educational short form content that is not created by us, but created by the community, by people, by creators. And whilst they're creating that and, and sharing it with people, they're also benefiting and, and sharing in the wealth that that's generating uh, for, for people. So it's a big mission. It's a big opportunity. And um, yeah, we've got the, uh, the, 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 the time now to be able to, to do that. Yeah. And awesome. I'd love to, I'd love to add on to that if I can, just because I think it's so important to, to talk about, the existing channels for distributing content around Web3 and crypto are a little bit lacking. A lot of the algorithms disfavor this type of content. So if you are a creator or if you are a community member or a project just trying to get your the word out about what you're working on or announce like partnerships and updates, like the traditional platforms right now will disfavor that content so you can't reach as many people. And there's no existing okay. singular, singular like aggregator of Web3 content, it doesn't exist. So then you have a lot of people that don't like the format of Twitter, like let's be real, it's very, it, if you know, you know, you gotta be in the cabal, there's inside jokes that are so hard to understand. So if you're a new person, like a lot of the, a lot of the folks that I've been talking to for my customer surveys and market research, they want to be involved in crypto. They know they need to buy it. They think they're going to become crypto millionaires and they don't know where to start. And when they do try and start, it's so, it's so inhospitable that they churn out of the process and they've been, they basically have it on their to-do list for years and they'll do things like maybe download a wallet, but like there's not enough information in those places to make an actual decision and convert. So they drop off. So this is the kind of like, these are the kind of marginalized people that we're trying to reach to give a very simple, I think it's very simple, uh, you know, our platform is not complicated. And I think that's the whole point is we want to simplify this process. So you guys want to, you're building a platform that enables to bring education and the same way the trading on it. So like a, a bit of social fi aspect to, to, to bring the next uh, billion people into crypto. Is that, is that correct? I mean, in a nutshell, yes, you, you coined it there. It is, that's, that's the uh, opportunity. In fact, 
ultimately, look, the, the product looks a lot like a uh, you know, any other social app that you're kind of used to right now in terms of showing up short form uh, video. But the critical thing that we we have done here is you have the ability to actually trade directly from uh, the video. So if you look closely, you can see this little um, button around the asset that is being talked around on the uh, on the video. And then next to that little buy it now um, uh, button, you can click on uh, that. It can take you straight through to buying the asset or selling the asset or trading the asset in whichever way is right for you. But we make it all super simple. And that's the biggest thing that we we're overcoming here is we're abstracting all the uh, the wallet creation away. We're extracting all of the the knowledge of which chain you're operating on. We're extracting all of that the stuff that you don't really need to know, but is all the infrastructure that we're so used to knowing in the industry that confuses so many people. And so we want to simplify this all down to just allow pure knowledge and learning and exploration and getting involved right i love it because like uh, if you look at instagram or tiktok uh, you know so many products are sold because you're scrolling on instagram you finally see an ad and then you click on it and then you buy this t-shirt or whatever and i think yeah. the 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 issue of the conversion from instagram today to crypto is quite low because you still have that fact well you're targeting people that are newbies uh, and then they see a beautiful ponke, let's say uh, a viral uh, video, but then how do you buy pon ponke? Well, yeah. you know, you rather have to download, uh, you know, your phantom wallet and all that. So it's pretty much impossible to get. Uh, there's seven layers before getting into the ponke token itself. Uh, well, 100%. Uh, the, it, and it's becoming more and more complicated with all the memes that uh, started now. And then you have to learn about pumped up fun and, and the bonding curve and, and the, the, the Dex is like, it's just so complicated, even for people that are inside the industry. I mean, you look at this year, we had the, the release of runes, for example, and that was another layer of learning about how do we do this with Bitcoin now, you know, and it, and it's, if it's complicated enough, it's just impossible for somebody coming in new to the industry. So we need to have that layer and we're not here for all of the, pro traders we are here for growing the industry and bringing new blood in and whilst we think there's going to be a lot of you know intermediate and pro levels that use our uh, our product for information it's the the execution uh, layer is really for the is for the mass market mm -hmm. maybe for you like in terms of architecture i mean you don't need to go into all the specifics but how how do you think are you building this is going to be a native app android and 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 uh and as well ios and you're going to connect this through uh through different dexes how, how do you think you you're you're building this yeah in some ways yeah yeah so right now um you know we wanted to get to market as quickly as possible while offering a really good polished experience so what we did was we decided to go with um, kind of like a hybrid approach. So there will be a native, um, a hybrid native kind of iOS application and Android application. Um, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll release a web app at some point in the future, but not right now. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're working with like key cutting edge partners in the industry. So, you know, we're working with um, spider swap. A lot of people don't know about them yet, but they will be put on the map probably because of us. <laughs> Um, and we're working with Helios and um, a few others, but you know, right now we're making the application very robust. So as we focused on Solana, um, you know, and using SpiderSwap's technology, SpiderSwap automatically routes us to multiple different DEXs. We have actually granular control over even what type of liquidity pool we want to route certain transactions through, which gives us unique opportunities to work with certain partners or projects or tokens um, where we can offer them you know, increased transactions to their liquidity pools um, in return for them, you know, doing something for our community members or something like that, which is really cool. Um, but we want to stay robust too. We're starting on Solana because Solana was our home and we've built there, we've grown there, we have a lot of connections there. Um, but, you know, at the same time, the future really is account ab abstraction. Like in the, in the future, uh, most people are not going to really know about what tech is being used in the of background, course. right? Like, 
you know, right? So, so we want to make we want to make it so eventually, you know, we are operating on all the top chains, and we're we're um, making sure that you know you're not tied or bound by one particular blockchain or anything like that. And then even with um, how we did our user authentication, we went with Magic, um, and you know that's just easy. They type in their phone number or their email address. Magic sends them a authentication code, and then a wallet is created for them. They know nothing about anything else. Now, obviously, they can go to advanced settings, export their seed phrase if they like, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, you know, most most of it is just going to be try to be as much as a Web2 product as possible where it just works, you know. So, yeah, um, yeah it should be interesting how we how we to scale out and stuff. Very, very cool. Yeah, the magic is always from uh, try to be as Web2 as possible and put in the backbone Web3. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you do it the other way around, yeah. it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is one of the beauties of Sysborg, right? Yeah. Is it you know the areas yeah. you've managed to be able to to crack, but it's it's through that abstraction process that you allow people access uh, uh, to things, and and it's you know it's such a, a delight for us to be here and and with this this community, we we feel there's so much crossover and opportunity. Awesome. Mm. Just talking about community, I think so. It's it's the perfect uh, sideways to get to promotion and building the community and all that. Obviously, you guys have you know good a very good network into the Solana ecosystem, which helps a lot. Swissborg, of course, we're going to help to to bring more smokers to get very interested in Tavala. But is there other things that you want to bring, uh, Rebecca, yourself, or Rupert, yeah. whatever you want uh, to comment here? Yeah. So one of the things that I that um, has kind of been coming up for us recently. So obviously, like social fi has been like a, a pretty strong narrative over the last, I guess, year, I'd call it. Um, but what we really see ourselves as well as like this publisher exchange um, kind of platform. Right. So like we're really we're really giving people a platform to monetize content and interact with content in a novel way. Um, that hasn't been done before. So like we're, we're different than your traditional social fi um, because this is something that, again, just simplifies the process but allows a lot of benefits because sometimes people are like, why would someone want to post content on Vala? And my answer is generally, well, a lot of the other channels you're not able to monetize first and foremost. So we're giving an opportunity for the smallest micro or nano KOL, anyone who's passionate about a project or crypto, to be able to monetize that content based on the conversion through the content itself, right? It's like, does your content encourage someone to buy or sell a project, right? Because essentially, it's a little bit like an aggregator of market sentiment, of alpha, of really even just figuring out what a project is like. And I'll give you I'll give you an example. I was I was running through um, I was running through Vala and some of our, our kind of product shots um, with someone who is is crypto native, and they they were very shocked to know that Bonk does these incredible festivals and events, and they're like they had no idea, right? And it's like if Bonk isn't able to get in front of people that are already crypto native because there really aren't a ton of us, then that to me seems like a little bit of a broken system. So. You know, when we when we kind of talk about our, our go to market and our and our launch, right? It's like there's the there's like the kind of traditional um, crypto customer acquisition strategy. We are doing a quest platform. We are doing you know some great kind of prizes um, good that go along with that to like build our initial community. Um, we already do have like a pretty good community across uh, Discord and and Twitter right now, which is amazing. And mm-hmm. so we're going to be building that further. Um, so that Quest platform will help with us. We've got some uh, partnerships in the work with some major meme coin projects on Solana and other projects because for them, it's just a distribution channel, right? It's like they want more eyeballs and like we're giving the singular place to aggregate this type of engaging content for users. So instead of having to scroll through endless Twitter feeds to get maybe a good thread, you're getting hit with a consolidated feed of relevant, either timely updates about projects or things that are pertinent to your wallet or beyond. But we really don't imagine just stopping there. So as part of our our Web2 customer acquisition strategy, we have incredible um, advisors from TikTok that are helping us um, with the algorithm, helping us with UGC, so we can get in front of as many people as possible um, that, that will be interested in playing around with Vala, um, we're going to have some other kind of like, you know, robust referral mechanisms, but really like partnerships with with other projects, KOLs, 
Um, and then driving traffic, especially from TikTok and Instagram are going to be huge for us because that's really where our, our target customer base is living right now. Um, but then we imagine the publisher exchange model really kind of taking a life of its own. So, you know, we're starting on Solana, we're starting on those projects. Memes obviously have a very strong visual appeal, um, but it doesn't mean that we need to stop there because really our, our platform is a mechanism for anything. So whether that's gaming skins, both Web 2 and Web 3, whether that's other partnerships with like real world assets, right, and physical products, there's really kind of a blue ocean of what's possible that we can, that people can kind of uh, play around with the platform. So we're excited to kind of have those learnings and test our hypotheses as we grow. Uh, but so that's part of like our, our kind of like initial promotion phase is we have a lot of exciting announcements upcoming. So stay tuned for that. And everyone should join our, our Twitter and our tic- uh, Discord for now uh, to see those. Beautiful. Uh, do, do you want, do you guys want to w- add something to this? No, other than... Um, you know, it is a it's a super exciting time for uh, for Valor. It's a super exciting time to join our journey. Um, we welcome the Swiss you know, community or uh, DT uh, Sporgers uh, <laughs> is the is the is the title for the uh, for the community members. Um, yeah, we welcome them into into the journey of Valor as well. And uh, and if there's anybody in the community that uh, feels that they can help and push us even further forward. We want to hear from you. We want to talk to you. You know, join in the in the Discord on Twitter. You can always message me on on uh, on on Twitter directly at Meta Bear. Um, and um, yeah, reach out because like we want to push this, this company uh, forward with passionate people as well. Sure. Uh, perfect, guys. So uh, we we talked about people, the mission. We talked about uh, the products. We talked about as well the promotion. Uh, now let's talk about this investment opportunity. Obviously, this is a token deal. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this will go through an alpha opportunity and then after through liquidity bootstrapping through BorgPad. So there will be two different events. Uh, what's, you guys have a token. Uh, what's the name? I mean, I, I presume the name of the token will be Vala. Is that correct? Or will it, it be is, something different? It is it's the Vala yes. token for sure. For sure. Uh, so tell us a bit about the token. How do you use it? Uh, you know, what's going to be the utility behind it? Yeah, look, looking sure. Here. Well, look, uh, I, I want to caveat everything that I say in the next uh, few sentences, just that we are a startup and new uh, additions are going to be uh, coming. But we want to facilitate the use of the Valor token as much as possible with inside the platform. And how we uh, see that uh, being happening is that uh, one way you can um, you can use it is, is staking the uh, Valor token inside the platform to get infinite airdrops. That's uh, one of the, uh, the the tools that we're we're providing. So every token that's created on uh, Valor, because there's also token creation in the background, um, you get a little moon bag of every single uh, one. So that's a, that's a huge benefit for any token holder. And then on top of that, it's also being able to utilize it or allowing the whole community in Valor to uh, in Valor to utilize the token uh, and that is through uh tipping the creators um and uh thanking them for for, for their work even if it's nothing to do with a, a particular asset that they're uh that we might be talking about on their uh video you can thank them for at least uh putting it up there and so you can do that through uh, uh valid tokens and, and other mechanisms but it's going to be more and more things that we add as we grow out the platform and we have more opportunities. Oh, one thing I want to add, just because I find that this is like a compelling way of explaining the infinite airdrops. So with the infinite airdrops, the way that I explain it is that imagine you're, you're if pumped up fun, like I'm, I, I feel like some people at least that are watching have been in the trenches of pumped up fun. You know, they're like, they're, they're scouring for coins that are about to like surpass the bonding curve or that have, and it's a nightmare, right? Like it's, it's very it's very tough. Imagine if you had a membership, right? Or you, if you were staking a token, you were completing certain actions, made you eligible for a little moon bag of every pumped out fund token that surpassed the bonding curve. That for me is a huge value add because then I don't need to spend yeah. infinite time in the trenches, um, but I can still get a little bit of asymmetric upside just in case, you know, some random coin pops off. So that's something that we want to give to kind of like the, the early users of Vala, the folks who believe in us, the folks that are staking, like as a as a reward and incentive um, for being part of our community. Perfect. Well, uh, that's a, a great way to doing this. Maybe last word for the end, if anyone wants to share something, please, please let us know. Well, the, um, 
the last word from us is obviously we're delighted to be doing this with the uh, Swiss Board community. And if there's anybody inside the community that wants to uh, reach out and uh, connect with us, they feel like they can add value to, to Valor, to the team. They're really passionate about what we're doing. We want to hear from you. So uh, tweet at us, tweet at me, uh, join the Discord, wave your hand. Uh, I will gladly take any call with any of the uh, Swiss Board community because I, I want to hear how you can help and how our journey can be progressed. Perfect. I uh, couldn't be more excited, guys. Uh, this is coming to Swiss Board very, very shortly. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Rebecca, Ranames, and as well, Rupert. Uh, it was really nice uh, having the three of you guys. And we'll see you very soon on, on Swiss Board. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you.